we are going to be jumping into a game number two here ladies and gentlemen it's it's a crucial match right it's the only match of the day here this is a game number two the simpsons versus vendetta vendetta already one zero over the simpsons yeah, like I said, crucial match right now, not just uh, for uh, for the series, but to, just to kind of for morale. You want to kind of make sure that you kind of keep things even. And you do see some damage coming on the Shiki here. So they're starting to put a little bit of pressure here. And like you were saying, that that at the top, already you see Esmeralda rotating down, trying to make a nuisance of herself down here uh, during these fights. Still, I mean, there's three people down here, not too afraid, uh, are, are the Simpsons. But it, it's just the, what you get that package deal that you get with an Esmeralda here. Uh, but what we're going to wait for, what we're going to see, I mean, we do have the two tanky lines uh, the, of the, uh, these uh, players for the Simpsons, especially with that Uranus, with that Balmon. So they're going to be able to tank, hopefully, hopefully uh, enough for Nate to be able to find that umbrella, for uh, Coal World to be able to find that uh, that flanking position to be able to do the damage on. And that's what we're going to be waiting to see as we uh, when we transition. Because I feel like the team fight is gonna really uh sell this for me for the side of uh of the the simpsons here yeah i mean not only that too but uh you can already see the, the kind of the damage that foggy has in this julian right not gonna land that but here's the thing vendetta they're running the double avarice uh emblems you know it's on galaxy it's on yuna that can actually really help scale very quickly into a gold lead even if they're quote unquote down like if there's if they if they're down a little bit in terms of kills objectives that double avarice could end up actually keeping you uh in the midst of uh, actual okay in the gold department right the economy of the team so that will play out and that's why the simpsons need to be very uh kind of focused on these objectives here already though the feathered air strike gonna come down that's already the first blood going in the hands of poggy now nate being pushed out here everybody on the simpsons gonna have to get out of this area the turtle First turtle of the game is just going to go in the hands of Vendetta. That's exactly not what the Simpsons want to happen because, like I was saying, economy could just go in the hands of Vendetta with that double average if they farm appropriately, if they actually proc it. And there you go. Just like that, they've already managed that 1K gold lead this early on. Yeah, and then that was a problem. We just, oh, Cold World in trouble here. And Cold World has to pop the ultimate, but unfortunately gonna get stunned right by the turret goes down again furthering that gold lead for vendetta yeah, it, 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 I mean, we saw there at the turtle a little bit of maybe not hesitation. Fallen was on the turtle, putting the damage onto it, but the rest of his team kind of lingering towards mid. This allowed a very fast come about from Vendetta to get positions on Belmont, to get that stun onto him, not only to land the feathered airstrike, but also to land the enhanced chains on him. So he was just CC'd down into a coma before his team could even react because they were at mid. And just Yin Yang Overton coming in here. Such a clutch Yinga overturn, but nothing converts there. Just a lot of damage. No kills, actually. Never mind. Fallen slam down with a lethal counter. Able to take out Shiki. They might not be done yet. Cinderella trying to get some space here in the jungle, but gonna get pushed out. So at least, right, the Simpsons able to get a kill there. So that interaction with Nate, the Ying Yang overturn, and then the lethal counter can be quite you know lethal, right? So that's what we saw there. We'll see if they can continue to do that combination. Yeah, and, and not not just uh, because uh, they were able to kind of find some answers. They don't clean it up with the Yang Overturn, but the rest of the team is kind of in the way. They are getting flanked now. Oh, this is uh, trouble. Fallen, will he be able to escape this? He's got Nate making his way up here into the river. Nate not able to get anybody just yet. Galaxy taking the brunt of the damage, and they force off here. So that's going to be it for that. But, I mean, again, one more kill going over to Vendetta. And if they can continue to find picks early on, they're going to profit off that, right? Nate should, like you said, he's going to be quite slippery to catch here uh, on this Kagura pick. But still, it's it's these moments, right, early on to the game that can lead into big things mid-game, right? Yuna has been just farming up, already picking up that Demon Hunter sword. And now the second turn of the game's coming up where already we see Vendetta pretty much asserting dominance in terms of this space, this area. Not sure if they're going to be able to contest this. The Simpsons trying, but there you go, Poggy actually able to secure it once again second turtle of the game 
Well, which, and what was interesting to me is Fallen was nowhere near there. Fallen decided that he was going to go ahead and clear out the bottom jungle. The rest of his team obviously didn't get the memo. Fatal links and that feathered airstrike coming down. Finish off Fallen, and the rest of the team kind of. Uh, I mean, it, it does feel like they're a little bit, uh, a little bit of a miscommunication when it comes to where they're going to be fighting or what type of objectives they're going to be taking here. Uh, they're starting to slip further and further behind here, almost getting to about a 2k gold lead into the five minute and 30 second mark on this and i mean it, we're gonna have to be a little bit cleaner on this especially when it comes to the objective fights yeah cinderella should be fine able to get away here shiki probably not gonna be able to do anything doesn't have the feathered airstrike all right just came up now cold world though on the bottom side poggy looking for a kill forcing the ultimate out here comes nate he's gonna sidestep that the best he can can they grab the kill still gonna be alive for now so no conversion here again a lot of skirmishes a lot of things happening uh resources being taken out by both teams but no kills going down but what is happening private is vendetta is still building on that gold lead it is starting to kind of gain momentum here where you see them getting about 2k gold ahead yeah, and right now, guys, we do have a gift for you. Redeem the code there for some free Magic Dust and tickets there. The t first 50 users will be able to redeem it. Uh, redeem it. You will find the link in the description of the stream, but we are right back at it as we have another fight kind of potentially coming out there uh, from them. But there looks like they're going to go ahead and disengage, but Cinderella actually looks like she might be caught out a little bit. Yeah, so, I mean, the great thing about Cinderella playing this Matilda is the mobility factor, right? And we already saw burst potential from Nate. Unfortunately, doesn't really, probably by the time he has two items, it's going to be quite deadly. And especially the great thing about having that Kugura there is whenever Theo ends up finding fatal in combinations, Nate's the perfect hero for that, right? But already Turtle can be secured this time by Fallen. There's the Fatal Links. Everything coming out here. There's the Feathered Airstrike. Fallen goes down. Nate's going to be the next focus. Promise, though, to help out Poggy there. Can't get the kill, though. There to help him out, though. Nate quite low. Galaxy might be looking to pull the trigger. Has the Falling Star Moon, too, but not going to commit it. It is Promise that goes down in the mid lane. And now across the map on the bottom side, it's Cole going to be focused. Yuna can't get the kill. One hit away. Galaxy bobbing and weaving past the turret. Can't get it either. Cole World still alive, and he's going to run to the fountain this time. So, I mean, quite messy on the bottom side. Not sure if they're still going to give it a go here cinderella actually getting caught out sandwiched in plus the turret i mean massive plays here for vendetta yeah and unfortunately for that i mean great play by cold world but was it outdone by cinderella getting caught out up there i mean there's, there's something to be said about like trying to save the tower but i mean there, you might as well let it go because they still got the tower but then they picked up a kill on you which kind of uh almost puts a little bit of a downer on all that dancing and bobby weaving that uh cold world was able to do to, to, just to get away and find a kill there we can see right here right now that uh irothel has is able to pick up that berserker's fury and the wind talker but man uh, when it comes to items right now we do see another fatal links coming out yeah, fallen not gonna be able to survive this one he gets whittled down so does nate it's going to be a double kill for yuna and now it's cinderella and cold world trying to run for their lives here as a mass of people running for him circling he'll does come out cold world gets the signal to try to help out the best he can it looks like cinderella is just gonna make a run for the hills the best he can and he's gonna go down here too another kill going over the hands of vendetta it is surely slipping out of the hands of the simpsons right now 4k gold lead ahead and the next lord coming up in just a couple of seconds yeah, and unfortunately, it just feels like they cannot catch a breath here. Even Promise is going to be running into some troubles here. He's tanky, but is he that tanky to resist? Oh, we see that Fatal Link's coming at it, so he's going to be well, potentially taken out here right now. But it does open up this Lord for the side of the, or for the side of Simpsons. Yeah, they should be able to secure this. There's the lethal counter. Okay, Cold World actually able to get that the retribution a little bit off time, but happy with it the simpsons do grab the lord but now cinderella is going to be the focus here most likely with trapped in but the team there to back them up falling star moon going to be committed by galaxy and everybody just going to call the retreat now it's vendetta right they still do have quite a bit of a lead but they've got to deal now with the lord on the top side shouldn't be much to deal with honestly at all they've got great damage great clear 
Poggy also just taking up that Holy Crystal. So there's a lot of magic damage here for Vendetta, right? I mean, the burst, we're obviously seeing it. So the Simpsons, I mean, Private, what can they do here to crawl back in? But hold on, this is not what they need to do. Cinderella gonna be the focus. <laughs> goes down almost immediately so unfortunately for them they're down cold world trying to run once again there's the feathered air strike right on target so you lose another member and even though you got the lord you're you're gonna lose space here because vendetta obviously wants to go ahead and work on these turrets i mean they've only got two down which is kind of surprised and it's promised once again gonna get focused down the dominance ice is there he can't regen enough as he falls in the top side. Yeah, and this gold lead has been shortened. Uh, well, actually, actually, it's uh, still about a 4K right now. So they are able to maintain it. Uh, you were talking about it earlier with those uh, emblems right now. So still able to maintain that. But the problem here is, I believe, the setting potential for the Simpsons. I mean, they're trying to run a very loose uh, composition where they can try to catch people out. But, I mean, you can't really catch anybody out who isn't making those mistakes. Nerf Fatal Link coming out here. Everything just coming out on Fallen. He is going to get taken out. Shiki grabbing that mega kill. Shiki's massive right now. And that's the thing. You were just talking about it, Private. Like, there. I mean, where is their initiation, right? If you look at the Simpsons across the board, usually that's in the Matilda. But unfortunately, uh, you can't you can't make it work because your backs have been against the wall for minutes now, right? It's 2 to 15 in terms of kills. Your economy is also really lacking as you're 7K gold behind. All you can do once again is hold on here. And that's what we see Galaxy now confident enough to go one versus four, knows that the team is just around the corner. There's the knockup promise, not knowing the burst potential from Poggy getting taken out here. And he's the tankiest member of the team, supposedly. So already, this is just bad news for the Simpsons as Yuna picks up another key item, that Malefic Roar. Yeah, and that's the problem when you see your Uranus getting one shot uh, by the enemy team. It's time to start praying because that damage is not going to lessen. We do see uh, Kagura still uh, does have the Lightning Truncheon and the... Uh, and the uh, uh, the other items that she needs, but uh, on the other side, already picking up the Holy Crystal is Shiki. So like just almost about a thousand to 1.5 uh, K gold ahead of the enemy mage right now. And they just do not have an answer for that back line. Uh, and Nate, even when they do connect that umbrella, do are able to get that yin yang overturn. Uh, it, it's not doing the damage that it needs because Kagura still needs those items, still needs to be able to kind of uh, farm here. And they're just so yeah. far behind when it comes to this we see them playing around this lord but it, it, a lot of mistakes are made as far as like uh, whether you're going to go in whether you're not and the decisions uh, of whether your whole team is kind of in the same game plan you can see them dancing around here but is Belmont in the position to kind of capitalize oh Shiki does get taken out here now Theo looking to make something happen not going to commit the fatal links though doesn't need to still fighting for the lord here Fallen able to grab it with that lethal <laughs> counter happy with it so i mean yes he goes down but he grabs the lord that's gonna be crucial for them to buy a little more time again this is a game of time for the simpsons they need the time to scale here private yeah, they do. I mean, Fallen, I, I, I do appreciate that. The, you saw the rest of the team kind of uh, baiting uh, Vendetta into a fight up at top while Fallen comes in there from the bottom. We do see another promise and a little bit of trouble here. Just it's having the, a real rough go is it, of it as a Uranus. What do you do as a Uranus when you're getting chopped down by the enemy team? We do have the Lord coming in, but it, it's just ugh, a great uh, it's a, a great bit of breathing room for the side of the Simpsons. But we need to see if they can make something of it. They're being really aggressive here, but is this something that they want? Oh, man, they find the right target. Cold World going to go down here, falls, and that's two members that fall for the Simpsons. Nobody traded yet. It's Theo that falls next, but it's going to be another member. Make it four of the Simpsons that fall. Then Detta out for blood, and it's only going to be Fallen the left alive as he secured his blue buff, but at what cost? Because it's now up to Vendetta to march into the base here. Can the Simpsons come up in time? It's not looking good. It's only Fallen able to defend the base, and that's not going to be enough because Vendetta taking game number two. 
Yeah, I didn't, I, and the problem for me is I understand the split priority for a team that if you're going to engage with four while one person is splitting, while one person is farming, but that is 